Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Creative Advik. So, this is a coding video. Yup. So, I finally started putting coding videos again. So, this time we are not doing it on code.org or on Scratch, but on a new app. A new app. The new app's name is Thunkable. So, Thunkable today is a camera app okay so this app will take your photos and then put it show it to you basically so to go to the website just put thunkable.com okay so it will open a website like this then press on sign up if you have an account already then press login but I have an account already so I press login so it will open a new video for me I have already logged in so that's why it's not showing me to log in by account but if you are logging in for the first time it will probably show you that so don't get confused how i got the projects run on the first try only so this app has a very different inter user interface okay so if you're doing your first project just press on start building then we'll just put the project name ucam our camera apps name then for the we'll just put education on the category and then drag and drop builder is selected and create so the app is being created i'm sorry yes the app is being created and a window like this will open okay so first we'll just color the screen so look i'll just run you through the interface so these are uh, the in code.org there's a different window for these things but in this app all the places are just in one thing so this will be like this okay so these are the things you can put then the, these are the options okay so for right now we haven't put any components that's why it isn't showing component selection so it is only showing screen one okay and then to code you have to press on blocks and it will come here so it's like this now we'll just go here and let's start i'll just yes yep so let's start so first we'll just color the screen to blue i guess uh yep no this is too much blue no yes perfect so now what we'll do is we'll just put out a label here and we'll put the label name but of course first we'll put the label name ucam and then the text in the label will be also ucam then what we'll do is we'll put the color white so guys i'm doing this my way the way i like my designing you can do this your way too okay so now what we'll do is we'll text align put center the text aligning one minute guys wow. now then we'll just raise the of, of course we'll just put the font size more why isn't this going in the center no worries we'll just check into it later then we'll put background color black then what we'll do is we'll put border radius 10 so it gets a bit curved now will this work yes so we'll just put it in the center like this by doing this uh, we'll probably make it this small or what we can do is we'll do this then we'll put a dash and put your trusty camera oops camera okay so we'll just put it like this we'll make it a bit bigger from here yep and this should be it now what we'll do is we'll put a button here saying click my photo okay we'll just make it big 
put it here put the background color black and we'll put the border radius to 10 now again one thing we'll put border color white I forgot to put it in that now one minute guys We'll put the border color to mm, let's see. Let's just put it to white like this only the way it was. Okay, so just don't go go with this. Then we'll put an image here. It's basically a drag and drop interface. Okay, so we'll just make it big and yep, this should be it. Image one. And then we'll put another button saying back. So guys, what we'll basically do in this code is we'll just put a hide one. So if we if we press click my photo, uh, the photo will also show, and these things will hide completely. And yes, in this app, I we uh, I also found a code to put the description of you. So when it sees the photo, it, it has an AI identification and will tell what the photo is. So first, let's just do the designing of the back button. Make it black in color. Put the border radius 10. Okay. Now we'll just put two disc two labels here. This will be we'll make rename this one to description the heading for what you will look like. Okay. So we'll write here your description and then one of these we'll make this big big yeah big then we'll put another label that will be just blank in which the description will come we'll make this label name d2 as in description 2 d2 done okay so uh, I think our designing is finished then what we'll just go to blocks first so the, this is the blocks okay so these are the components you have put and then these are app features we will not touch any of these today and this is the code from where the main blocks are okay so first we'll go to screen 1 press on it uh, wait one minute. The screen one's code is laggy. So when screen one starts, why is this lagging today? Must be error in their code. Come on. Okay. So this is here. Now what we'll do is, so we'll put, we'll go to D2 as in description two. Then go to the last. And if you can see set D2 is visible too and then this take this out and put it here and then D2 is visible to false that means it will hide it in the beginning then for description also we'll do the same guys please give me a minute today this app is lagging so much set descriptions visible to false now uh, which button is this ba the back button this is a but this is the button too so we'll put um, uh, set button now if you can't find set button tools visible to then just find a block that is similar but instead of visible something else is written in this case case here it is set button tools font italic too so we'll just take this out put it here and find visible here like this false anything else we need to put to false uh, I don't think so yep so that should be it now we'll go to button one. Oh man come on when button one click then we'll go to uh, image one minute guys we'll go to image one 
now we'll put set image one's picture to then go to camera photo from camera now for description we'll do we'll go to d2 come on set d2's text to we'll just go again to camera here and i'm sorry when i said that we'll not touch this part we'll just go to the camera part description of image from photo of camera okay now then we'll go to button one again here now basically the user should see this as a screen change but the screen change code was not working that's why we are doing this on the same screen by hiding things okay so what we'll basically do right now is we'll just make a duplicate of this a duplicate of this basically a duplicate of all the blocks we had put there and a duplicate of this actually yes now we'll just make this button to description now we'll just put this back here untouched but instead here we'll make this everything true okay so uh, now what we'll do is go to the ucam label code okay uh, then go down set ucam visible to false because they are already on the first one okay set uh, yes then what we'll do is uh uh then we'll put set oh we had done this already so no worries then what we'll do oops we'll just put this in the dustbin <laughs> then we'll do uh set button one okay not button two come on i don't know why this app is lagging today come on come on come on yep set button one's font italic because we couldn't find the visible we'll put here visible to false we have also done you can button one image one also done oh yes one more thing for image one what we'll do is set image one's visible to false and here set image one's visible to true okay so this should be it one minute then description we have put we have also put d2 and this should be the code now for button 2 the code for button 2 the last block of code so we'll just go to this code come on when button to click we'll just duplicate all of this duplicate duplicate share it should be false all false duplicate duplicate now what we'll do is uh now these we'll put duplicate set button twos visible to false we have put description we have not put you cam duplicate set you cam visible to true then for button one also duplicate set button one to true then image one will also will duplicate this to false hide image one basically so this should we have put d2 we have put description uh, we have put button 2 we have put image one then why have we put two button one button twos so let's just remove one one button two then we have put image one also then you can also support button one is also support and we have put two image ones so at the end one two three four five six 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स यस सो आर कोड इज कम्प्लीट सो आई एल जस्ट शो यू आई शो यू विल जस्ट Uh, you can't see me because I have switched off my webcam in this recording because then you won't be able to see the picture. Okay, so we'll click on web preview. Click your interface should come like this. Press on click my photo. Uh, any time now, guys. So this has clicked my photo. Okay, so um, this is the back button. and this is my description a person sitting at a table smiling for the camera good right so i'll show it to you again this time with no smile a boy taking a selfie in a room every time it comes different different now we press the back button that's it so guys don't be worried if your camera takes time to load because it will probably be thinking of appropriate description for you okay so i hope you like the video today and i'll meet you in another one so and yes i couldn't put the virgin mohito one because i remembered that i haven't put a coding video in such a long time i need to put it now now or never so virgin mohito is next time i promise okay bye so thank you for seeing this video i hope you liked it stay safe stay home and again covid cases are rising so stay safe stay home bye and congratulations on being a level 1 guitarist